Hello my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and today I'm here to present to you November favorites but seriously it feels like it's been forever since I did October favorites honestly it feels like it's been a year um, I was thinking about it for a while because there's a lot of favorites that never see the light of the day because they never make it to the video things like my favorite articles, some of the new youtubers I discover, favorite quotes, favorite songs and I thought that I would still love to share them with you and I think it, the best place to share it with you would be on my blog and I'm gonna do something like weekly favorites maybe just five things that I will select from that week maybe favorite food, favorite drink, favorite quote, favorite music and then sort of package it in weekly favorites so if you wanna see my weekly favorites actually not really see it because it won't be in a video format it will be in a blog format then make sure that you sign up to my newsletter on mimiicon.com I'm gonna link it here I'm gonna link it down below so you can check that out down there and sign up if you'd like to know about the weekly favorites as well but let's get started now all right I'm gonna start with my favorite hand cream of the month and I usually don't really use hand cream because since I moved to London my hands actually don't get dry in the winter before when I used to live in Canada I think from October to about May I would have extremely dry flaky hands but ever since I moved here I didn't except for this year because it's been really really cold here in the UK so last time when I was I think I bought it in Toronto or New York I think I bought it in Toronto so I just went into Whole Foods and my hands were really really dry and I said whatever I just need to pick up anything that will nourish my hands and this is the brand that I really like I've used other products from Andalou I believe I'm pronouncing it right so I really like this brand because it's cruelty free <laughs> it's cruelty free <laughs> it's organic so yeah cruelty free organic and then um, it's got super natural ingredients like one of the first things that's here it's aloe juice almond oil uh, shea butter like all these amazing natural ingredients and all you need is a teeny tiny drop just like that and then you spread it all over and this is lavender flavor which I find super super calming too so after I put on my hands I like sit there and smell my hands and it's very moisturizing so I only need to apply it maybe once a day maybe I usually if I apply it I'm good to go like even a couple of days without it so yeah super good for the winter months Probably the most exciting item on this month's favorite is a drink that I've been drinking, guys, literally every single day. And it's called, I'm like gonna pretend I'm holding it, it's called golden milk. And this is something you don't need to buy in a store, you can make it yourself. And I'm gonna explain how. So basically I found out about golden milk when I was in Toronto. Layla was drinking it, I think because it's also good for, she was drinking when she was pregnant, but apparently it's really good for milk production once you have a baby. And so Dimitris and Layla, her husband Dimitris, they would drink this every single day. And once I was over and it was like really cold day and they made this for me and it is so delicious. But then they started telling me all these amazing things about this drink and what it does and basically what it is and how you make it. I'm gonna kind of tell you like a short little recipe. If you guys want me to actually make a video about it, I'll be happy to. So it's, um, what's the yellow thing? Turmeric. Called? So it's turmeric, <laughs> like what's the yellow powder? So turmeric, apparently in India, turmeric is like the spice of life. If you're Indian, you can tell me if this is right. So turmeric has so many incredible properties. It's antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-parasitic, so basically kills the parasites in the body. It's rejuvenating, so it makes you stay younger for longer and it's delicious and what you do is basically you take the turmeric you mix it with a bit of water and then you add some black pepper and I, I believe that's all and then you can just mix it in a little pot with the water and then it like the, the mixture will condense itself and then you just store it in a jar and then anytime you want to have this drink which for me is every single evening and usually Alex makes it you mix it with coconut milk or almond milk I personally drink it with almond milk and then yeah you just take a little half a teaspoon maybe not even right Alex is it half a teaspoon yeah. so you just add half a teaspoon into the almond milk you heat it up and then you add a teaspoon of coconut oil which is amazing for you coconut oil is so good for your skin so good for your hair um, so the whole mixture is like this incredible miracle drink that is not only anti-cancerous but it's also like revitalizing so yeah that's that's all I wanted to say about it it's super delicious and I definitely recommend for you to try it out especially in the winter months because it's colder it's like very soothing and comforting 
and one more thing I had a cold coming on twice and every time I just felt a little bit of like you know the sore throat that you start getting I would just drink this maybe even more than once a day and next morning I would wake up feeling incredible so yeah golden milk on this note of natural and amazing products, I was at Whole Foods the other day and you know how at the counter they put all these amazing products like the little things that are all look interesting and as you're going out to pay you want to like grab everything? I saw this rose water and I personally never use rose water spray ever but I know that my mom did when I was younger or when I was a kid, <laughs> I'm still young and I just decided to pick it up because I just picked it up, I smelled it, it smells amazing it smells like roses and I thought it must be good for you so once I got home I did a bit of research and apparently rose water is incredible for your skin it softens the skin it soothes the skin and it adds a really incredible glow and what I usually do is I spray this in the morning right before I do my makeup before even I put moisturizer it's just I don't want to do it now but technically you could do it even while you have your makeup on you kind of go from far and you spray it I'm just gonna spray it like that as you can see it just comes out on a bit of like a fairy dust and you spray this on your face if you have irritated skin it really cools it down or if you live in a hot place like Miami or uh, probably parts of Australia or anywhere where it's really hot you know somewhere tropical or if it's summertime right now anywhere you are in the world because I know in some parts of the world it's summertime right now then this would be just incredible or maybe after a workout you're doing hot yoga or anything where you just want to cool yourself oh another amazing thing about rose water is that if you have poofy face or poofy eyes again it just like cools everything down, soothes, soothes everything down and yeah it's just basically super incredible the only thing is I sometimes forget to use this um, another great thing about rose water is that you don't actually have to buy it in a store you can make it yourself um, I would just YouTube a video there's like tons of them out there so yeah all right so this whole month I couldn't stop listening to Holiday soundtrack. I don't know if you guys watched the movie Holiday. It's one of my favorite sort of Christmas holiday movies of all time. It's super beautiful, magical story. How this girl from London exchanges home with this girl from, well, girl, woman from LA. And then like they meet all these guys. Anyways, it's a super magical story. If you haven't seen the movie, I would definitely recommend watching it. But the soundtracks from the songs, and it's an old movie. I don't even know. Alex one day just started playing it. And I stopped doing whatever I was doing. I said, oh, what is that? It sounds so magical. It's like, it's like the balm to my soul. That's the only way I can, I can explain it. I am very sensitive to music. I love music, especially like very instrumental, or like with like things that are without lyrics, like very holiday-ish, but not overly done. So I'm gonna just play this for you right now. Um, just a little moment from one of the songs. Just makes me fall in love with life. Every time I listen, I'm like getting teary right now. I don't know what it is. It just like really affects me in a really, really good way. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely recommend if you want some good vibes this holiday season listen to the holiday soundtrack I'm gonna link everything I mentioned in this video down below so make sure to check the info box down there finally I was able to find white Converse shoes I don't know why they don't stock this in every single store well I don't even know if there's a Converse store here in London but there's a few stores that carry Converse and every time I would go in and ask them they just wouldn't have the simple white ones it's like the best thing ever invented this shoe basically goes with everything it goes with simple skinny jeans um, it goes with a dress it adds that cool aspect to any outfit the only thing I find them very comfortable but I don't know I think it's me like one of my foot is bigger than the other so like the right is completely perfect and comfortable but sometimes I, I get a bit sore on the left but it still doesn't stop me from wearing the shoes because they're super cute and they just add a really nice touch to any outfit and I'm like blocking my face <laughs> love it I don't know if you can tell but I got my hair a bit lightened last month well if you watch my Toronto vlog you saw me get it done so basically I got some just some highlights in my hair that don't start from the root they kind of start a bit lower so like ombre highlights 
but what happened after I got them done even though we didn't use any bleach my hair became really really dry naturally my hair is really dry already so I just started thinking in my head what was I doing when my hair is dry like what do I do to my hair to make it softer and shinier so I remembered this mask that I used to do all the time back in the day again after I colored my hair and I just said you know what I gotta do it again it's like it's time consuming a little bit but at the same time the results that it gives your hair are definitely worth it and it's a hair mask that you can do yourself at home I have a video about it actually so I'm gonna link it here and down below so you can watch it for the full recipe but basically I'm gonna tell you in just a few seconds it's mixing two ingredients a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of honey and then you just mix it in a pot so it's a bit warm and then you just add it to your hair you don't put it on the scalp you can if you want to but I personally don't because it's just that it's harder to wash it out so you just kind of put it from here down and the best thing to do is to leave it in your hair overnight if you leave it in your hair overnight and you wash it out in the morning by the way there's no problem washing it out just wash it with warm or like sort of hot water not hot but like lukewarm water it washes out completely and after you blow dry your hair or if you just air dry your hair your hair will be extremely soft and shiny I just I couldn't believe like I was looking at my ends and they were sparkling and I'm like really just for one time of doing this hair mask but it really works miraculously I only do it every two weeks because it's quite heavy I wouldn't do it every time I wash my hair so like once every two weeks is more than enough and I only would recommend it to somebody who has hair like myself that's a bit more on the dry side and a bit more um, you know frizzy or after it's been color treated otherwise you might not need it you might find it a bit heavy but it's a miracle mask definitely give it a try watch my video and let me know how it works for you I'd love to hear from you it's been raining in London like every single day and I don't wash my hair every single day because there's no point so when my hair is not looking great and it's raining I use this amazing hat and okay the funny story I'm gonna quickly tell you nothing is really quickly if I want to tell you the story it takes some time so basically I saw this picture in a magazine years ago of this cute couple wearing this kind of hat and I screenshotted that picture and then I wanted to sort of recreate this same moment with Alex and what happened is one day we were in a department store in Paris this is like seven years ago or six years ago and I find the same hat I see in that picture so we we'll buy the hat and then we end up taking the picture with Alex and then I look at that picture and my like inspiration picture and it's basically the same shot it was crazy anyways but the sto long story short we ended up losing the hats I lost mine first or I think Alex lost his and then he lost mine and then we couldn't find the same hat like we looked for years and then last year Alex found this hat I think in some store here in London it's not the same but it's close enough so I'll settle for that so now we just share it and basically what I do is like if it's a rainy day and I just want to hide my hair because because usually if it's raining and it gets to the ends of my hair I don't mind so much but if it gets to the roots of my hair like this whole section becomes too frizzy and unbearable so yeah I just wear it like that and sometimes I'll just do a little bond and like sort of hide all of the hair in the head but yeah it's just really cool and cute and like every time I wear it people ask me where I get it and yeah I just really love it all right favorite sweater of the month and you've seen the sweater if you watch my winter sweater lookbook if you haven't watched it now um, is the sweater from American Apparel American Apparel and it's sort of a crop sweater it's quite chunky and warm I absolutely love the knit so it's sort of a mix of white and blue it's a beautiful combination I really like American Apparel a because they're made in US two because they're sweatshop free basically what means is fair trade so I love supporting them and yeah super cute and super perfect for the colder months all right I saved the best for last because this book that I'm gonna mention right now it's probably one of my favorite books ever and you guys know I go through a lot of books this book is it's life-changing in ways but it's also self-affirming in many other ways and what I'm referring to is this book by Elizabeth Gilbert it's her newest book called Big Magic and I didn't read the book I actually listened to it on audible and I think it's actually great to listen to this book because Elizabeth reads it herself and I think she's absolutely amazing 
at reading the book. I don't know if it's like a special skill, but it is. It's like sort of she tells the story and she uses her voice so well. But basically the book, The Big Magic, is a book on creativity. And what she talks about in the book is that as a human being, every single one of us by default is creative. And we should all find a way to practice creativity in our life. It doesn't need to become your career. You could be working in, a, in banking or I don't know, like anything. You could be working as a lawyer, anything that is maybe not sort of creative, but you can still practice creativity in other parts of your day. You can dance, you can write music, you can paint, you can do whatever you want, but it's so important to practice creativity. And she sort of describes all these different stories and scenarios of why it's important. I don't want to give away too much. All I'm going to say is please read this book because it's really going to totally shift the way you look at art and creativity. And mainly, I think one of the biggest messages that I find in that book is that it sort of gives you permission to create art and not really care about what other people think. Most people don't create art because of the fear that other people will judge what we create, whether it's videos here on YouTube or um, painting or creating music. But at the end of the day, you can only create something unique and beautiful if you really don't care what other people think, is if you do it for yourself. And that's another thing. A lot of people now go into the arts and they go into it with the uh, notion of what am I gonna get out of it? And that's another thing she explains in the book. If you start doing creative things, expecting an outcome, like if you start making YouTube videos and you're thinking, what am I gonna get money? Like, what am I gonna start like cashing in the dough? If you start thinking this way, that kills the art, that kills the creativity. Or if you start, you know, dancing or writing music and thinking, when can I sell this music so I can live off that? Then that can potentially kill your art. As an author, she didn't work as a full-time author up until she wrote the book Eat, Pray, Love, which I'm sure many of you have heard. So up until that time, she still had a full-time job to support the art that she loved to create. So basically she's saying that if you depend on your art to pay your bills, you can kill the art within you. And that was just one of the aspects of the book. There's so many other incredible aspects on the, on the book. I definitely recommend for you to read it because creativity is like, like the feed to the soul. And I think we should all find a way to practice it in our day. And and this book will definitely inspire you to open up more of those channels to create more art just for the sake of creating more art because it feels good because it makes you feel alive all right so I didn't mean for this video to be so long but as you can see it is because you see there's just too many things I want to chat to you guys about and for that reason now I have weekly favorites so make sure to sign up to my newsletter so you don't miss my weekly favorites on the blog mimiicon.com I would love to hear about you at least one or two favorites of the month so make sure to leave me a comment down below if you enjoy watching these monthly favorites make sure to give me a big thumbs up i would really appreciate it i love you guys very much and i'll see you soon